So I hide in and I'm too short for being 5'6", but see they're doing it in centimeters and converting. I'm checked into the hotel, two and a half hours from weigh-in time, and we try to get a better room, we try to get early check-in, but they had none available, we were on a wait list. So the only way to get a room that would have been in time, smoking room, so non-stop stinky smell of cigarettes, worse than my farts, and look at these little teeny beds. Like, I'm not huge, and look at this. That's what we get. So we got the windows open out here, trying to let some air in. And I am still 1.8 pounds over my weight class. So I took two more diuretics, hydrochlorothiazide. Basically, it's just a, a stronger diuretic, whatever. Uh, I took that about an hour and a half ago, right at the airport. And I'm hoping it makes me pee enough to make the weight class. And that is the plan. I have, I've eaten like a couple Kit Kat bars and like rice cakes today. That's it. And I'm still basically two pounds over the weight. So I'm definitely way bigger than last time because last time I was like making weight easy. It wasn't even hard. So this is a struggle. I barely could walk to the freaking like through the airport. My girlfriend had to carry my bags. I could barely push. I had to sit down. She had to go pick up the like luggage off the thing. I was out of it, sweating, death, just dying. And so not easy, but that's what you got to do to make weight. And after I weigh in, I'm going to eat and drink some water and try to like fill out some, you get a bit bigger. Obviously you get a bit bloated when you eat. So I'm not going to eat too much like food that like meats and stuff. Mostly like the faster acting stuff that'll absorb quicker. Have a good night's sleep tonight. And then hopefully all the food in the stomach goes in all the right places. And then when I compete tomorrow, I want to be better and bigger than last time. So in Germany, plugs are different. So this normal plug for a hairdryer doesn't actually fit anywhere. So I'm going downstairs to try to find Ali, her plug to straighten her hair. No luck. She's not gonna be happy, no. But I found one of these so it can charge a charger, which will charge my phone. But she's gonna have messy hair. Oh well. This is the smallest like elevator ever. Like, like as you know, I'm not six feet tall. And like, look, <laughs> it's so tiny. I don't understand what's happening. Rooms are tiny, beds are tiny. Maybe Germans are all like tiny people like me. I don't know. I'm Acadian. We're all short. My mom's five feet tall. My dad's five five. Twins five three. And there's not much height in there. Little brother's my height, but that's it. One hour to go. Okay, that's one pound over, but that's holding the phone. So the phone's like a half a pound, probably. So about half a pound to go. One hour. And I'm starving. I want to eat so many carbs right now, and I'm dying. Well, that was a near nightmare. So I hide in, and I'm too short for being 5'6". But see, they're doing it in centimeters and converting. I don't know, maybe I was, like, standing up too much. But I was, I originally measured in under five foot six, and then I had to stand and like stand tall and get over the height. And then the weight's in kilograms, so I was like 83 point something kilograms. So whatever, I ended up making it, but it was uh, pretty scary at first, because I'm like, wait a minute, I have to weigh 82. I'm like, there's no way I'm under five six, because like I'm usually five foot six and a quarter, five foot six and a half. Sixty-eight. I'm five foot six and a quarter. 
I'm in, and they have in fact changed the competition tomorrow. So rather than doing like a morning and night show, like prejudge and finals, we're doing prejudge and finals at finals. So what that means is we're going to go on stage around 7:30 at night. So like over 24 hours from now. So I can like eat all day and night and get like huge, I guess, by tomorrow. And then we do the pre-judge type thing. And then I think just the top five do like the finals tomorrow night. I'm not sure 100%, but it's basically like a one show format, which I've never done. So a lot of new experiences here. First time competing overseas. First time competing with like, you basically go out, get judged, and then walk backstage, and then like an hour later, go on again and do your routine in finals. But I like that better, you know, because you get your tan and you're pumped up, and you only have to do it once, all at once. And then when we go to Toronto, it's the opposite. It's two days apart, and the weigh in is like four hours before pre judges. So, can't really do anything that I do this weekend. Next weekend, it'll be totally different. But, man, that's a stressful weigh in when you're like that close to making weight. But anyway, I'm in and I'm lined up to get a tan. Tan number one done. And basically, once I dry off, I'm gonna go back home. And I'm gonna carve up different because I have like 28 hours to carve up so I can actually handle the meat now. So I'll probably eat like burger and fries, the typical like bodybuilder type thing because 28 hours, everything's gonna digest. Frankly, I'm sick of eating freaking rice cakes at this point. There was no microwave here, so I brought rice to carve up with, and uh, yeah, I was not in the mood to eat cold rice, so I had more rice cakes, more rice cakes, more rice cakes. So I'm sick of rice cakes. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back and eat like some normal food. I'm gonna drink a fair bit of pop. I'm gonna make sure I weigh at least 190. Um, I got lots of lots of room to play with. There's 19 guys in my class, one of which is the winner of the amateur, so he turns pro and then he'll compete with the 18 pros who are already here. There was, uh, I was at the weigh-in, I saw a couple guys trip down. There was two or three good ones. And, hello. All right, so we got burger and fries. It's a big burger. And I have another order of fries coming. And uh, I weigh 187 and a half pounds right now. So the plan is stated, get over 190, so obviously I'll be over 190 after this. Then um, I'll eat a lot more junk before bed, like rice cake, cereal. I got like chocolate frosted flakes and all kinds of crazy shit. Just Kit Kat bars and stuff like that. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm not really hungry for it, but whatever. It is what it is. It's not like exciting to me. But I'm gonna eat it and try to get huge. Recognize this guy? Maybe a little bit of muscle. Maybe somewhat slightly bigger than me. Somewhat bigger than two of me. It's basically bedtime, and I'm in fact eating popcorn. Now, normally I wouldn't because of the fiber, but because I have like 26 hours before I have to compete, I'm not worried about it. There's going to be like 13 grams of fiber, I just don't care. But as I said, once the floodgates open, you don't want to stop eating. So even though I'm really not hungry, I feel like eating until I never can eat or stop eating ever again. You basically get like an uncontrollable urge to want to eat everything in sight because your body was starving for so long and it comes across food. Just think of survival back in the old days. You just killed a deer. Doesn't matter if you're full, you eat the entire deer because it might be another three months before you get that deer again. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not really worried about them. I'm weighing like 191. I'm even drinking some kind of, I don't know what that is. It's not even diet, it's just pop, whatever. So I weigh like 191. I'll probably end up losing five pounds overnight anyway. It's like, what are you gonna do? But I'll be heavier than last time. We'll see what happens in the morning. Good night. So I've been carving up immediately after waking up. I've been eating some of this, frosted flake, chocolate, 
more rice cakes, which I do not want to eat. And then I'm going to go down, find a microwave and cook some rice. I basically have this. Have a little bit of water. So I'll be up a couple pounds after that. I still have eight hours. So I, I want my stomach to be flat. So, you know, the goal is to be as big as I can, but have like the completely stomach flat so that I don't look bad doing that vacuum pose and whatnot. So I'm already bigger than last time. Last time I was like, I don't know, 183 point something. I can, you, you end up just dehydrating when you sleep. Now consider I slept 12 hours. If I'd only slept like a normal six hours, like I usually do, I'd have been significantly heavy. So that's the longest I've slept in this year, ever, in my life. Well, no, I think I slept longer than that like a few decades ago. But anyway, you could tell I was like depleted and I finally had some food. My body let me sleep. Because when you're in starvation mood, Whoa. mood, mode, your body doesn't want you to sleep. It keeps you up. It wants you awake. Go kill a deer. So it said, yes, finally this guy killed a deer, ate it all, and it let me sleep. All right, so that's what happened. So it's 1130 in the morning and I'm here carving up. Uh, just some regular coffee here, a couple things of rice, some other rice, tiramisu. I'm just gain back a couple pounds just because by the time the show starts, I'll be down a couple pounds. And as the show gets nearer, it's just going to be all chocolate at that point, rice cakes. So I'll cut out like the, the bulkier type foods. Basically going for no fiber at this point and uh, just a little bit of water just because I'm not worried about being lean enough because I'll be lean enough. I'm not trying to be like the absolute leanest guy on the, on the show, you know, as long as I'm one of the guys, I'm just really focused on looking bigger, that's the goal, bigger. If it doesn't work out, hey, I did what the judges said, and then what else can you do? Three and a half hours out from getting on stage, I'm 187.0 pounds naked right now, so the goal is achieved. I'm three or four pounds heavier than I was at the last show, and I'm leaner, still leaner even though I ate a lot. I'm tired because I was just flexing in the elevator lighting because we all know how good that lighting is compared to everywhere else. So I'm happy with that. My conditioning's on point, I'm bigger. The improvements are made, so now it's just gonna be up to the judges. I'm into some Pop-Tarts now. I've been eating all day. I'm, it's not been crazy, it's probably like 3,500 calories today, but yesterday was probably like 6,000, so, Less than normal, but just a little bit more water, less diuretics than usual, just because I just don't want to flatten out too much because I just didn't need to get it shredded. Like I just didn't need, I could have came in if I wanted to just drier, but then they'd be like, yeah, you're not big enough. And it's like, yeah, okay, well that's no good. So I'm just gonna have some pop tarts, then gonna head off to the venue. This is not as dark as I'd like to be. So um, I have one more coat of tan on, it's pro tan. Um, one of the lightest tans I've ever had, so hopefully the next coat gets me darker. But I mean, there's nothing you can do, it's the, the, the competition, they decide how dark you're going to be. I'm going with them, hopefully it looks good on stage.